Hi, I'm Roborter. In this tutorial we will explain how to show a rotating square in the scope with the help of Tesseract, the fantastic module by Axioma. According to Wikipedia, the Tesseract is the four-dimensional analog of the cube, the Tesseract is to the cube as the cube is to the square. In the beginning, the module starts with a cube. It has eight vertices. Each vertex is color-coded, and it has two outputs, to the X and Y axes. For instance, the light green vertex sends a value for X, and another value for Y. We will focus on the cube, there are eight more vertices for when we add another dimension. We name every vertex with a pair of capital letters. First for the X outputs, and then starting from I, for the Y outputs. I think you get an idea. When we want to draw on oscilloscopes, we have to set two sequences with the coordinates for vertices. The order is important because a line is drawn between the vertices. Think of drawing without separate the pencil from the paper. So we have to draw this cube with a continuous line, and it can look like this. Now it's like connect the dots, we start two sequences with the A point for the X output, and the same point, but called I for the Y output. Then we follow the line, so we add B and J respectively then F, and N, and so on. You can wonder why we're doing all this. Well, because, I love cookies, is a sequencer that can switch between inputs writing a sequence of letters. You will see that this is a powerful module. Now we connect Tesseract with, I love cookies, having in mind the letters we assigned before. We add CLKD to the clock and set the reset. Turn the clock as fast as possible. We also write the two sequences of letters we made before. Letters must be capitals to get the values from the input, the small letters are for getting the values from the knobs. Let's see how it looks on oscilloscope. If everything went right it must show the shape we set. In oscilloscope, X and Y positions can be shifted to show the shape in the center. With the distance knob in Tesseract, we can change the zoom. Now it's time to rotate the cube. The knobs on the left are the six rotation axes a hypercube can rotate. Let's start with the first three ones that are more familiar to us. Lateral, X, Y. Your, X, Z. and roll Y, Z. This cube is a cell in the hypercube. In the fourth dimension, there's also a W axis. This is how the cell looks in a 2D projection when it's rotated in 4D. Let's try a polyphonic version of the cube, where we can set four faces, each one on a different channel. Now we only have four pairs of values for every face, but we will need more switches. 
let's add 8 instances of VCV Sequential Shift 2. The pair of values for the four vertices from the low face must be connected in order to the switcher. Then both signals go to the first channel of merge 8. And the same for the rest. We can modulate the scale of the polyphonic signal with an LFO to change the look of the cube. With Polycon 8 the offset of every channel can be changed independently. Or with 8FO we can merge low frequencies at different phases to shift the offset. Playing with the numbers of steps on the switcher, every face can change the number of sides. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.